<laughs> it's just quite funny, isn't it? Not literally having no idea what's going on on screen. No, nothing. Well, hello and welcome back to The Shallow Proclamation. My name is Paul and I'm joined by... Thomas. Thomas, the English muffin man. Not enjoying a muffin, but a loaf of bread there. Uh, <laughs> um, we, If you're just joining us for the first time, uh, where have you been? We've been <laughs> we doing this for flipping baked. ages. <laughs> Yeah, all we do, we just eat bread. <laughs> we we um, consumed baked goods. <laughs> sometimes some salads. Maybe and sometimes there's some Doctor Who playing in the background. Occasionally, Doctor Who occurs. Um, we are watching through, or attempting to watch through, as much Doctor Who media as we can, pretty much in order, if we can do it, from 1963 onwards. Um, and we are now into season four, into the Patrick Troughton era. And we've seen the first two Patrick Troughton stories. We're about to watch The Underwater Menace. Um, and yeah, I, we've, this will be the first time we've actually seen Troughton moving, isn't it? Mm. Um, now he'll be in his element in this story. Yeah. <laughs> um, Trout. I, oh, dude, come on. <laughs> Just, um, the, I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be like because, um, I think episodes two and three exist. Um, I've never seen the whole story. I've I've seen the existing episodes, or at least when I bought the DVD that had the lost episodes on, one of the episodes was on there. I'm not sure when the other one was found, so I don't know whether actually um, I've seen both the existing episodes or just one of them. Mm. Um, but I'm not sure what the deal is with the other two episodes because they weren't... I think they were due to be animated, but then something happened and it never quite happened... But it was released on DVD somehow anyway. It might be like some kind of telesnap recon, but it's like an official one or something. I don't know. But we are watching this on BritBox, so this is like an official... It's an officially made thing. So I'm not quite sure what we've got in store for at least episode one and four. I think it's two and three that exist. Um, okay. But we'll find out. I might be talking complete nonsense. I might, might have got that the wrong end of the stick <laughs> time. Which, which, so we'll discover, I suppose, when we start watching. Um, but yes... Um, as always, I'm sure our loyal viewers will fill me in on all the mistakes I'm making anyway by commenting down below. Do check your comments below. We'd love to see those and engage with those um, and all the bits you know. Um, and do give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't done that already. Uh, that's great for us. Um, we're almost we're almost at 700 mm. subscribers, aren't we? And only yeah. a few away uh, as of today, I think. Not sure exactly how many are on. Just having a look. Not double oh five. Oh hello. Yeah. Not double oh seven, but seven double oh. Seven double oh, yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, so this story, The Underwater Menace, um Troughton's third story. It was originally broadcast fourteenth of January till the fourth of February nineteen sixty seven, written by Jeffrey Orme, directed by Julia Smith. Um yeah, as I said, only two of the parts exist in the BBC archive. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm kind of quite looking forward to it, to be honest. What's going on here? I've just got a non-moving screen. Yeah, same actually. Okay. That isn't ideal, is it? Is, is that what it's doing in BritBox though? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, like I said, didn't know quite what to expect from this first Okay, this yeah, first. yeah, so it's so Let's just roll with it, let's roll with it. Or maybe it is a telesnap recon. Oh uh, yes, we've we got, got Jamie to... now, don't we? Yeah, we've got a new companion on board. My old Agis. <laughs> so Jamie's from quite a long time ago, isn't he? Who's Robert Burns? Yeah, so I'm not, not sure what year it was, but it was around Battle of Culloden, so... Yes. Robert Burns wasn't born until 1746. 1746, there you go, that's such a question. Prehistoric monsters. What have I come upon? Oh, apparently this scene is all in their head. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're not actually speaking it. They're, like, thinking those things. Oh, right. So, like, you're hearing their thoughts. That's interesting. Which is yeah. not something you see a lot. If again, or whoever, I don't know. Yeah. We're in Cornwall, and it's Volcano Day. <laughs> in terms of the release of this on home media, 
Uh, as it's, it says, as with all missing episodes, off-air recordings of the soundtrack exist due to contemporary fan efforts. February 2005, these were released on a CD accompanied by linking narration from Annika Wills. Episode right. 3 was released on VHS in 1998, along with the document documentary The Missing Years. They were later included on the Lost in Time DVD. Ah, yes, so I probably haven't seen Episode 2. Episode 2 was found in December 2011 and was initially, cool. pre initially prepared for release on DVD in 2014. After an extended period of uncertainty, the BBC confirmed a release date of 26th October 2015. Two surviving episodes are supplemented by reconstructions of the missing two episodes using restored audio and stills from the production. They were originally due to be animated, but the project was abruptly cancelled after the studio raised its commissioning prices. There you go. Nice. So, yeah, 2011, the second episode turned up. That's impressive. So very recent, really. Yeah. The year Scream 4 came out. <laughs> that's, that's how I think of That's how I measure time, basically. Yeah. The year the Scream movies came out. That's it. Uh, there is some talk that the Smugglers, the one we watched with um, Hartnell, and this story might be animated for the 60th anniversary. Oh, interesting. In which case, does that mean we have to go back and watch them again? <laughs> Maybe. It's a funny taste. You feel very well. Here we are. I'm kind of hoping there might be some missing episodes turn up for the 60th, you know. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? If they pass yeah. out, it's compressed nitrogen. It's the 10th planet. Part four. <laughs> we can but dream. Polly, try and get us out of here. <laughs> Where's this? <laughs> it's just quite funny, isn't it? Not literally having no idea. <laughs> What's going on on screen? No, nothing. Abracadabra. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Expecto yes. Patronum. <laughs> Avada <laughs> Kedavra. Oh, sorry. <laughs> He's regenerating. <laughs> well, that's quite a sinister looking room, isn't it? It's like Texas Chainsaw Mask yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. Something from uh, Saw. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I saw that the other day. Oh, did you? I saw saw. I I've uh, seen saw. <laughs> when did you when see did you saw? See saw? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. You're the first one is okay, isn't it? Yeah, I think I've only seen the first one. Oh, no, I might have seen the second one. I can't remember to be honest. Yeah, the second one is truly horrible. I stopped there. Apparently, the third one is even worse. <laughs> First one was like fresh at the time, wasn't it? You know. Yeah, I mean, it's quite, it's kind of like seven, isn't it? But from the point of view of the victims. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Better hurry or scoff a lot. Yeah, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Always well, going for a three-pronged attack there. <laughs> dum dum, it's... can you give me gum gum? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just like that. I mean, what is going on? At the it's really hard to follow, isn't it? <laughs> this with no. With oh, so Polly size. Ah, oh, I understand now. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. I don't know. So fishy about that guy. <laughs> oh, great. This what may is be interesting. It's because we know. Don't. It's so hard to follow. It actually makes you That's focus a bit more, doesn't it? That's a shark. Oh yeah. Head on. <clears throat> this. Strangely enough, the Highlanders part one was probably easier to follow than this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the audio is good, but well, girl, what do you want? there's not Why that you much not dialogue. Work? I have a note for Professor Zara. No. It's very important. A lot of French endings in that previous shot. What's a French ending? So they chop your head off. I, uh, Finn? <laughs> oh, dear. Speaking this of, looks like another saw-like contraption, doesn't it? It does a bit, yeah. Speaking of people getting their heads chopped off in France, yeah. do you know what year the last person was beheaded in France? Life is a oh. stream of water that drains away I'm going to guess 1899. Uh, it was 1977. Oh, flip. The same wow. year as Star Wars came out. So and that is a weird historical overlap, isn't it? Because <laughs> I know that the last public hanging 
in the UK, you could have got you, you could get the London Underground to go and see it. Yeah, that's what his thought, isn't it? Someone was hanged or hung. <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a heavy subject for comedy, Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, we had that debate last time, didn't we? Hanged. I think it's hanged. You are right. It's it's hanged for hanging, and you hung something on a wall. Right. It's yeah. context-wise. And the way they did it is they had, like, a few little lines, and if uh, people guessed all the letters, the guy was hanged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, please don't get it. Yeah. Is it Wordle? It's like Wordle. <laughs> oh, please don't get it. I'm going to die if you do. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so it's a sacrifice. So we're... Well, I picked that up because he said earlier that it was part of the vernal equinox and he said, you're playing an important part, I'm sad to, sorry to say, or something, you know. Right, yeah. So well I thought we are probably going to sacrifice them. So when's this set? Oh, I don't know, I'm not really... Is it future or past? Um, you ask a good question. <laughs> we don't even know that in a Doc 2 episode. That's, That's great. great. That's how little we have understood what's going on. Now, this information you have, what is it? Oh, this is quite I'm bizarre, sure isn't it? Well, I think I like it. You know, I, I don't know. You torn to bits by my guards? Yes, yes. Yeah. I could feed you to my pet octopus? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes I, I could feed you to my pet humor. octopus? Yes. I need men like you. Hmm. That's not a threat you hear every day. <laughs> yeah. You come with me, eh? <laughs> Your lives have been spared. I'd like to be See that they contribute under the service sea. to the community. In the octopus is God. Oh, oh nothing, nothing. Oh, look, it's COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Come under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. Is that Little Mermaid? Yep. Yeah. Wish I could be part <laughs> of <laughs> that <laughs> world. That surprises you, doesn't it? What? I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Sorry, wasn't meant to be a pun. No, not at all. Oh, did she no, make I'm a pun? You like you. <laughs> that's great. Uh, some <laughs> I love that. Get most... Oh, Atlantis. But that's not mm. possible. That's only a legend. Go on, go on, Doctor. Oh, this is cool. We're on the ancient kingdom of Atlantis. Yes. Suddenly it all falls into yes. place. And this is not the perfect place to complete my work. What? Like, what does that mean? That image at the end. <laughs> not even any credits. Like, <laughs> just... <laughs> well. What a cliffhanger. I think... I think I can honestly say if I was... Uh, someone who'd spent money on the DVD, I would be a little bit miffed. I would feel a bit <laughs> short-changed <laughs> episode one and presumably episode four. You'd be more miffed than Atlantis itself, and that's saying something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, I kind of enjoyed it in the way that I enjoyed The Feast of Stephen. Like, I think this was probably a, a slightly more serious episode than Feast of Stephen. You know, it wasn't an out and out joke, but it, the way it came across, because it was so unclear what was happening some of the time when, like, you just have minutes of no dialogue and just the same image. Just and you're just shock. hearing kind of. <laughs> no, not even like, it's just, just stock footage. That's just surely that is just stock footage on the screen, like, for minutes. <laughs> and you're like, so, so where is that shark? Are the people <laughs> interacting with it? Do they know it's there? What What's. Like. <laughs> What the heck is happening? But I kind of enjoy it. Like I, I enjoyed the Atlantis vibe. I enjoyed the costumes. I, I, I liked that costume at the end. I don't know who that guy is. I don't care about him at this point because I have no idea who, who he is or what he is. But I kind of like that aesthetic. Yeah. And, you know, there's some interesting stuff there, wasn't there? With, like, the plastic gills and people having surgery to do it. And then Polly's being forced into surgery... Yeah. You know, there's some nice there's some ideas here, aren't there? And obviously the whole Atlantis thing is kind of nice, kind of ancient temples, kind of ancient temples under the sea colliding with 
science and stuff it's it's a really you know there's a nice idea in there isn't there it's just a shame that from that it was kind of hard to get a sense of it but hopefully we've got two episodes now on the trot which will um shed some light on that yeah no i'm really looking forward to that um but yeah great well yeah, thanks I, for... I was gonna say i don't think i like to say much about that more than that like... <laughs> yeah i i think i think it might be a good episode but I, it's kind of hard to gauge it. it. It feels unfair to gauge it by that, doesn't it? Um, yeah, that that is... Um, I mean, we've watched some bad reconstructions, haven't we? I mean, mo- well, actually, in fairness, most of them have been good for what they are, but we've seen those, like, those animated... Like, oh, I still want to see one of those all the way through. <laughs> like, but uh, that was... The High- like Highlanders episode one... The quality was so poor, but we still got through it. That just that. What was that? <laughs> Who signed that off at the BBC? Like, can't believe someone signed that off. Yeah. No, anyway, you're, you're all right. <laughs> That's enough of my moaning. Oh well, thanks guys for watching. We'll be back. Join, join us next uh, time for actual footage of this, which I'm very excited for. Not yeah. least because it's the first moving footage of Troughton. I have ever seen <laughs> <laughs> apart from the very brief clip at the regeneration and the odd like split second that has survived in recons but um yeah well thanks guys do subscribe and we will see you soon bye bye